Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today I'm going to be showing you how to merge duplicates within your Salesforce org. So I have created um, a duplicate role that goes off of a few different things. So duplicate roles and matching roles, they can be kind of tricky. They could go off of certain information and you don't really know what it is. So I'd created earlier two identical leads and it didn't match. So I created my own duplicate rule. And so these are the functions. So either the phone number or the mobile number have to match exactly. And the name is similar and it's kind of a fuzzy match. So I wanna see kind of how far we can take it before it actually says, hey, there's a duplicate and then we can match those two. So my other one, the last name is just Jones and the number is full zeros. Uh, and the company is ABC. So it's the same company. I'm gonna have it be Emily Jones. So it's a, a somewhat correct name and the phone number um, will be all zeros. Duplicates can be not great <laughs> and they can really mess up your data and your sales process. So let's say we had um, an, a Jones and an Emily Jones that were both circulating in the Salesforce sphere and you were working on this with two different leads and then you would say, hey, I'm actually like working with two different salespeople from your company. Then that could get really tricky as far as, hey, who owns this? Who gets the commission and whatnot? So let's go ahead and change up some things to see if this will proc and this will uh, kind of show the duplicate. So right now it's showing, hey, we don't have any duplicates of this record. So I'm going to say my name is, last name is Jones. Uh, go ahead and click save here. Let's go ahead and refresh the page to see if it's showing any potential duplicates. Okay, it's not. Let's go ahead and do the phone number. Okay, and click save. All right, it is showing us that potential duplicates exist. So it is letting me save it, um, which is great. So then I can save the record. But now we're gonna go in and view duplicates here. And this is where the merging begins. So you can look at the both records right here and say, hey, Emily Jones and Jones, hey, they work at the same company. They have similar phone numbers, uh, maybe because the mobile number is what I added. And this one is showing some type of um, parentheses and dashes. There you go. That's why it's not working and it worked on the phone number. So let's go ahead and say we're going to use one as the principal, um, this one as the principal. Which one are we going to be using? Um, we could select, hey, we just want to use that last name or we just want to use that mobile name. But let's go ahead and click next here. All right. And let's go ahead and merge these two. And it really did not take long. So we're just merging the two into one record. So then we don't have to deal with any duplicates. This works on a couple different things and it works on contacts and leads, but you may want to look into using it in other places. If we go back to this lead role, um, account contact lead are the ones that are here now. If you want to create a new role, you get account contact individual and lead. So I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like, subscribe. You can connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter at Emily Call MBA. You can check out the courses down below in the description or on salesforceupskill.com. Thanks so much, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.